hey guys welcome back in the previous video we are uh, successfully able to install the starter kit and then we added this design right and now the time is to install the broadcasting uh, stuff right so i'm going to remove the extra stuff from here just close everything which isn't required so just go here and search broadcasting and uh, make sure here that you are visiting the laravel 10 not the laravel 11 because it also it will confuse you because it's contain the laravel reverb functionality okay just go here and uh, start it from here server configuration this one is a configuration so it's telling us that it's starting from the config slash um, broadcasting dot php right so I'm going to close this stuff and basically it's going to start from here broadcasting.php right and there are uh, configuration which is first is uh, pusher then you can use ably redis log and so on things right and by default laravel driver is set to this log if I go to the .env file so broadcasting driver is set to log right so don't worry we will use this pusher right so we need to mention the pusher there so i'll do this later on and i'm going to give you a brief details that how we can install this because many of the youtubers skip this out and it's become very confusing because uh, uh, it's not clearly mentioned that what you need to do something if you are getting an error or if something isn't working like uh, how you need to broadcast the events so it's much more difficult right sometimes we miss or it's not clearly mentioned in the latin box okay uh, and now we are not going to install the laravel reverb i'm going to install the pusher so here for the pusher channel we need to install this pusher so we just copy this out or click here and I'm going to terminate this weird stuff and clear this out, paste this stuff and install this pusher. So it will install the pusher server for us. Perfect. And after that, we need to install the pusher configuration, right? So you need to go here and visit pusher.com, right? And then here you need to sign up, right? So just click on this sign up and you can simply sign up with the Google, right? so i'm not going to <clears throat> sign up because i'm already i have already an account so it's very similar so just click on this uh, uh, whenever i'm logging in so just click on this sign in and then i'm choosing my account right and it's similar like you are registering it so what difference is here my button is manage but in your case it will be the create right just click on that it will visit this page where you can create your application so just click on this create app here we need to create an app so this app will handle our every stuff that whenever we are sending some a message from our laravel application so this pusher will receive uh, this message and then this will broadcast this to our application again right so we'll then listen this message again perfect so here i'm going to say that uh, what name we need to assign this so i'm going to say not the laravel i'm going to say chat uh, chatting app built in laravel laravel 10 i'm going to mention this laravel 10 here you can select a cluster it would be the by default it would be the ap2 right and i'm not going to choose this out it would be the default then you can create this for multiple environment but at that time i'm not creating this for the multiple time so here you can choose your front end so on the front end side i'm going to use uh, jquery right or you can skip this stuff you uh, if you are using a simple like html css and javascript you can skip this out or you can choose here if you are using the jquery you can choose this out i'm going to skip this out and on the backend side i'm going to use the laravel so just choose the laravel and then click on this create app perfect it's uh, created an app for us and uh, here this is a stuff you can use this to subscribe to the channel but i'm going to move to this so 
app keys right you can um, pull these app keys from here right and similarly you need to add them into your dot env file so i'm going to go to this my env file and here it's so uh, called this so uh, pusher app id so i'm going to copy this uh, id uh, paste this id here then need the app key so just pull this app key from here similarly then use the secret and then cluster would be the ap2 right so this one would be the cluster by default it's using mt1 so you just replace it ap2 and then we don't need to play around with these three properties and why these variables are here so these will be used by wheat right so wheat is a new asset bundler so i'll show you whenever we'll cover this wheat stuff right so we'll do this so we'll cover this within a few minutes in this same video okay perfect now we are successfully able to uh, fill these credentials into our application and now you can click on this debug console so whenever we will uh, connect our application with the pusher right our application will be connected so it will show us uh, events here that our app is connected sending uh, we are sending a message so we'll log everything here right so we will get back whenever we'll install everything so here the next step is we need to uh, choose a broadcasting driver so as i told you that in the config there are broadcasting us and driver drivers which is pusher ably and so on things so by default it's set to null right and in the env file by default it's set to log i go to that env file so by default it's set to log so just replace this with the pusher so it will use the pusher information uh, from here uh, this pusher mission perfect okay and uh, after that just follow this step by step don't miss any of the step finally you are ready to install and configure laravel echo yes we will do this this one is a ably stuff right it's ably configuration so skip this out we are not going to install this ably not this one not this one and now let's go here this one is a reverb stuff so i'm skipping this out just go to this pusher and copy this stuff and paste this out here so this will now install the laravel echo and then also use this uh, we already installed the pusher so it will um, pull this uh, laravel echo and pusher js okay and after that we need to go to our resources slash js bootstrap.php and enable this stuff so it's done and i'm going to say npm install uh, sorry npm run dev we need to recompile those files right npm run dev anyway it will be run behind the scene every time so just go to this resources js and bootstrap.php and here this one is the stuff okay uh, importing the echo importing the pusher because we already installed these both one and uh, we are creating an object of pusher and then here this one is a configuration but in the laravel 10 it's mentioned something like this so i'm going to replace with this one right replace with this one so this one is now wheat pusher app key wheat pusher app cluster right so it's mentioning this dot env and if i go to my env file right so it's using the wheat pusher app key and we map cluster so that's why i'm using these variables right and where i'm not uh, defining it twice time my app key i'm calling this variable here uh, to this reference we can refer some other variable something like this then i'm mentioning this my cluster something like this perfect we are successfully able to install the laravel echo then configured our uh, bootstrap dot file perfect right and now let's go back to the documentation again it's telling us that we need to uh, npm run build because but we are running this npm run dev so it's compiling our files so we don't need to do this or uh, if you want to run this out so you can simply say that npm run build so it will compile your file and add them into the public slash build directory it will be done in a minute and yes it's now appeared this build directory perfect after that uh, uh, it's saying that if you have already instances we haven't created this yet 
then for the ably concept overview and then now we need to uh, we are successfully able to configure our setting on the client side and now we need to do our things on the laravel and that we need to broadcast our events from the laravel stuff so how we need to go from the laravel stuff so i think i need to shoot this in the next video where i'm going to enable my broadcasting app service provider and tell you that how you can uh, fire events from the server side so thank you so much guys for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye